So yeah, there we go guys, that's my guitar and my pedal board with only the worm active right now. Yeah. What we have here is the loop station from Boss, the RC5. I got the quintessence from TC Electronic, the worm, a uh, special edition worm, uh, but it's just a different color, still the same worm. Rainbow Machine uh, from uh, Earthquaker Devices. Hummingbird from Earthquaker Devices and Polymoo. I also got a Dispatch Master here from Earthquaker Devices, but it's not active on the board right now. Yeah. So why am I telling you all this? Well, uh, I'm gonna unbox the pedal today, and I'm gonna do the unboxing, I'm gonna do the testing, and I'm gonna do the review all in one go in a video. Yeah. So, and you're welcome to join me if you want. So, if you want to see that, then stay tuned. Uh, this guitar thing, uh, <coughs> I'm having fun with it, <coughs> but it is a journey, so <coughs> I have to practice more, I think, yeah. So let's just put this here for now. So I'm going to leave tags on the video so you don't have to see the whole thing. You can just skip ahead to a tag if you want to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Ma. Another styling on the box here. Uh, and I did watch their video. Really cool video. Sort of a, a live feeling to it. Doesn't you don't get the feeling that it's like professionally done or anything like that, but I, I, I like that. I think it's cool. Uh, so this is the box right here. Uh, let's just open it and see what is included in the box. So you got a sticker, which is nice. I always love my stickers. And the stickers in my studio uh, was on the shelf that is in my little boy's room now. So I got to get new stickers. So Old Blood Noise Endeavors, thank you for this. Nice. There's also a pin here. Nice. Love that. <laughs> wow. There's also another sticker. Awesome. I guess they thought I was so cool that it included too. Highly appreciate that. There's nothing more in the box here now, by the way. And here is the manual. It's a sort of a folder thing. I guess the days with hefty and big, huge manuals are gone because of the environmental crisis thing. But if you're wondering what kind of beasts we're dealing with here, that's the maw. Yeah. See that? I was considering buying something from Zoom. I think it's called Zoom. I'm not sure. I have to edit that, that out if that's uh, wrong. But. Uh, it is also something for vocals, because I guess that's what I like in my studio. And that is why I bought this, because it was either that, or the RC30, which they had on offer. Uh, which is a nice loop station. The problem with it, though, is that you're stuck with the effects uh, that is on there. Whilst with the 
with this, the ma, which looks like that, you can build your own effect machine on your vocals using your pedal board, which I've just shown you. And that's cool. You see, you got uh, the gold thing with this is that you got a send and return here. And you take the send to your pedal board and return that back to this. And then you have your whole pedal board, if you want, in effect, on your vocals. I don't think any other machine does that. So that's why I bought this. Pretty epic stuff. And now we're going to test it out. Yeah. So you just heard my guitar. So now we're going to plug up my guitar and plug in vocals instead. Yeah. So I think we'll just place this uh, here. There it goes. And this was also included in the box, by the way. I think it fell down. It, it, it was on the floor, so it wasn't there previously. Yeah. So mind you, in that, that now I'm just disconnecting my guitar and getting ready to produce vocals instead of guitar sounds with this uh, pedal board of mine. Yeah. And since this is a guitar rig, usually I'm going to place it outside my guitar rig. I think I'm going to place it here. You can see it there, I hope. We're going to zoom in here. Hello. Okay, so now you have a, a top-down view of uh, everything that's going on here. And I got a microphone. Looks like that, yeah. Uh, so let's just try some of these effects which are within the unit without anything else. Let's go. Hello. Uh, okay, so that is a really cool effect right there. Let's see if we can tune it down a bit though. Hello. Hello. Okay, so when I turn the mix the, uh, knob all the way down here, then it has no effect. And if I turn it just a little bit up, let's see what happens. Hello. Nice. Okay, so. There's an A and a B side to this unit. So let's turn off A. Now you should hear me fine without the reverb. Let's try to turn on B. Hello. How are you? Uh, flange, let's try that. Hello. Hello. Hi. This 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 is the long delay. 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 And now. And now. And now. It's really long. 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 That's actually kind of cool. Okay, let's try octaves here on the A side and turn that up. How are you? 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 I hope you are fine. I hope you are fine.
turning up the mix knob here on the octaves. Walla walla. <laughs> okay. Wookie. This is nice. Oh. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> okay, so the onboard effects are pretty cool. But let's just set it to a uh, sort of a standard here. Uh, let's try the short delay. There we go. Hello. 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 Yeah. 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 Hello. There we go. Okay, so even though I turn the effect off, it still finishes, so that's cool. There you go, there you go, okay. So now we're going to test out, because I've now connected my whole pedal board, which I usually use with my guitar, I've connected the whole rig to this pedal right here, to send and return, so... In essence, this is now capable of using my whole pedal board. Yeah. So let's just record something first. Go to McDonald's and I say to you, let's get the Big Mac burger. I am that man you see in front of you today. I go to McDonald's and I say to you, let's get the Big Mac burger. Quintessence, extremely cool uh, harmony pedal on effect here. Let's see what the worm does. Let's add some magic. Hummingbird. I am that man 
you see in front of you today? I go to McDonald's and I say to you, let's get the Big Mac burger. The Splash Master. What the hell happened there? Oh, it didn't have any power. What the hell? And I say to you, let's get the Big Mac burger. I am that man you see in front of you today. I go to McDonald's and I say to you, let's get the Big Mac burger. This pedal has done something for me that is quite unique actually because the effects on here are fine, it's nothing exceptional but the ability to actually add my own pedal board to this thing and also add effects from this machine to that makes this device a revolution for my vocals in my music and well I don't use vocals in my music uh, that much this is gonna change that completely so there you go guys the old blood noise and there is ma I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and
stay tuned for the next video. Because then I'll be talking about a lot of stuff. And you're going to want to see that for yourself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, in case you missed it, this is a 10 out of 10. I just gotta build myself a whole separate pedal board for this thing now, for vocals. <laughs> this is starting to get expensive. Oh well, okay. Take care of yourself. The old blood noise endeavor is more right here. Awesome. Yeah. Talk to you later.